Hi, this is Kristen from Whiskey Tingle Farms. We're back with another video to help guide you on your path to self-sufficiency through Caternix quail, rabbits, gardening, and more. Today we're going to be pickling some quail eggs. It's one of our family's favorite snacks. We've been eating quail eggs every single morning, but we still have a lot left over even after shipping out a bunch of orders and stuff because we're pretty picky about when we ship out. Uh, so I already have some that I've washed. We're getting ready to boil them. So we're hoping that you'll enjoy pickling quail eggs with us today and we'll share some of our favorite little tips and tricks. So stay tuned. No. All right, so we have our burner on already. We have it on high, medium high-ish heat. Um, we started with the eggs in the water and um, we're gonna bring this up to a boil, so. But I love how pretty they look too. Like all the pretty colors and patterns. And like I said before, they are washed already. So um, it's important to do that because you don't want any manure or dirt on them while you're boiling them. You want everything to be nice and clean. <clears throat> All right, so once we have this at a like a hard boil, no pun intended, um, once we have a really good rolling boil going, we're gonna leave it for three to four minutes and let them um, boil in there and make sure that we're stirring them. Um, we don't, we're not going to stir them too aggressively or anything because we don't want to be breaking them. Otherwise you have uh, yolk leaking out and also you want the yolk to stay in the center of the egg so that the white is around it. Otherwise when you peel them and then you end up pickling them, the uh, yolk, it gets kind of weird. Uh, so you don't want to stir them too aggressively because you basically want to keep that yolk in the center. Um, and then we're also going to get a ice water bath ready to go. Uh, the reason for that is as soon as we take them off and pour off the hot water, we're going to stick them in the ice bath to make sure that they stop cooking. Otherwise, you're going to get that uh, those like dark spots on there um, that's actually from the eggs overcooking. So we are going to boil them just how we want them, and then we're going to stop the cooking process right away. All right, so here you can see we've got um, a strong boil going. So we are going to set our timer um, <clears throat> for three or four minutes. And I'm just gonna stir, like I said, real slow, not aggressively or anything. We don't want them to crack. We don't want, oh, like I just did that one right there. Um, that's my own fault. Um, but we also want the yolks to stay um, towards the center and then the whites on the outside so that when we pickle them, uh, we don't have any issues. All right, now that we have um, that uh, at a rolling boil, I have Brandon on stir duty. The timer is set, so we are going to make our ice bath here. There's one for latte. I hear latte enjoying her little ice chunk I dropped on the floor. All right, you can shut it off. Thank you. Are you enjoying your ice chunk? Yeah. What do you think? Is it good? Is it good enough for a project manager? Oh, we got the belly rubs. We got the belly rubs. Yeah. Okay, all right, now I gotta go wash my hands. Show these failures. Although I don't mind showing failures. Dump the eggs in the hot, cold water. I don't know where the spoon is. There it is. Not too aggressively. That's all right if you do it now. You're gonna crack them anyways. I suppose. And I suppose the cooking process is already done, so that makes sense. Here, I'll do this. Do you want to set your pan down? And how long should we leave them sit like this? Or does it not really matter? Just once they're cool, we can Just, start. Yeah, we'll start peeling them. Peeling them. So are they easier to peel hot versus cold, or does it not really matter? We'll I mean, they're gonna be pretty cold. cold. They're gonna be pretty cold after we're done with this anyways, right? Yeah, peel them when they're cold. No, I know some people will say, 
to soak them in is it just vinegar overnight? Vinegar overnight. And it, yeah. um, the hard shell kind of comes off, and you basically just have to take that, like peel that membrane, membrane off. And we did that once, but um, since I uh, am pretty busy at work and stuff, we don't really, we're just trying to kind of do this all at once. So even though it would probably be a little easier that way, for time's sake, ironically, we're just going to do it all today, I think. So, so there, we can probably start, huh? So we'll go set up a little station here for peeling them and stuff. Slice up some jalapenos. So I had Brandon uh, cut up the jalapenos and onions while I was, what was I doing? I was doing something. I was getting washing the water bath eggs. ready. Oh, washing more eggs. Uh, so he cut those up and he just kind of has these sliced up real nice. So like what, a quarter inch thick or so? Um, I'm not a very good cook. So he's kind of helping walk me through this. I'm hoping you guys enjoy this journey too. So I'm hoping to pick up on some more homesteading, self-sufficiency cooking skills. I'm a, I'm a really good baker, but I'm not a good cook. So Brandon is helping me along the way so you guys can join us for this. Um, so then we also have um, a jar of, um, so this is a quart jar of apple cider vinegar and water. It's half and half. So, and then we have some minced garlic just from the store. Um, just because I don't feel like mincing just it. Just because we don't feel like mincing it. We do, we just minced a bunch I'm, I'm at Thanksgiving time, actually. Cheating. Um, so we're kind of cheating in that aspect. Plus, our garlic um, didn't go too well in our own garden this year. So if we're going to cheat, we're just going to cheat, cheat. So um, we have our mixed pickling spice. So there's lots of, looks like some peppercorns in there and stuff. Um, mustard seed, black peppercorns, dill seed, cardamom cassia, ginger, coriander, allspice, chili pepper, cloves, and bay leaves. And it's just ball brand. And then we have Mrs. Wages pickling and canning salt for clear canning brine. Um, so, and this is a three pound bag. So I'm not sure what we're doing with this yet, but I'm sure Brandon will tell us. So um, while Brandon was cutting um, up uh, the jalapenos and onions. I was washing more eggs because we're doing smaller batches this time. Last time we had like a huge really big um, pot that we used for brewing beer and it was it was just too many so we're doing a bunch of smaller batches instead. So um, I was washing more while the first set was cooling off so we're just kind of um, doing a lot of things at once. So we're going to um, start boiling the second batch here so let's go do that. All right, so we've got batch number two here, um, and we have the water just slightly above the eggs. Um, again, they're all washed and ready to go. And we're going to put this on... Jalapeno at the bottom, and then we'll layer it when we stuff the other stuff in here. I like how thin I got these ones. The thinner, the better. They pick a lot better. 
Let's see, because the flavor has a more to do with surface area than anything, right? I'll put our, put our garlic. I like lots of garlic. So it's like half a teaspoon of garlic in each of these pint jars. It's more than half a teaspoon. It's like a tablespoon, dear. It's like a teaspoon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, it's making my mouth water. Okay, so since we are just trying to kind of be real and show that everybody makes mistakes, especially beginners, and that's totally okay, um, I'm just going to talk about how our first two batches of eggs didn't go the greatest. So the very first batch, as we showed you, we made a water bath to kind of stop the cooking process right away so that they wouldn't get overcooked and get those weird black marks. Um, so they turned out perfectly, so it seemed, until we went to go peel them. And then we very quickly found out that because the eggs weren't like hard, hard boiled, um, they were hard boiled, but not like super hard. Um, when we went to go peel them, um, the yolk would be exposed. And then of course, if you pickle that, um, you're gonna end up with some like, it's like a uh, foggy looking pickling juice and it's kind of gross. So we couldn't use those. Well, before we had even gotten that far, we also had boiled the second batch of eggs but we were out of ice. So instead of using a ice water bath, we had um, just cold water running and then we just kept the cold water running on the bowl of eggs so that it had a constant fresh supply of cold water running on them. Those eggs actually peeled a little bit better. Um, so we did successfully get about two thirds of a jar, uh, just a little baby pint jar of eggs. Um, and the rest we're going to be using for egg salad. Um, we might make some mayonnaise or something, I don't know. So um, instead of um, boiling these for only three or four minutes, um, when they get to hard boil, we are going to boil them probably four or five minutes and then put them in just a cold water bath instead of an ice bath. And we're gonna see if they peel a little bit better that way. Um, we did also learn uh, along the way, and we have done this before, but I had actually kind of forgotten because it's been a while. If you take the egg and you kind of um, crack open the big end, the big fat end first, and you kind of tap it on the counter, um, since that's where the air sac usually is, um, that kind of gives you a good way to get under that membrane. And then you kind of just peel the membrane off of the egg. That way you're not really getting into the white part and then exposing that yolk. So um, <clears throat> we'll show you that process um, and hopefully this third batch goes a little bit better. Um, Cause yeah, like the very first time we made quail eggs, we ended up with some like murky, foggy looking pickling juice and it was kind of gross. Like they tasted okay, but it just looked kind of weird. Um, so this is probably the third or fourth time we've made pickled quail eggs but I'm kind of mostly flying solo and just kind of making mistakes as I go but I'm going to talk about them because maybe you can learn from my mistakes and it shows I want you guys to know like it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to do something the first time and mess up as long as you learn from it so yeah 
I'm gonna wait for these to come to a boil, hard boil, and um, I am stirring them as I'm going, like as they're coming to a boil, because I think that may have been part of the issue too, um, because the yolk was on the outside of the eggs a lot. So I think it's because I was vigorously stirring them too much once they were at a rolling boil. So anyhow, I'm gonna sit here and play with these a little until they come to a rolling boil, and then we'll leave them at a rolling boil four or five minutes, and then we're gonna put them in the cold water bath, so not an ice bath. Okay, I'll stop rambling now. So this is definitely going a lot better than last time. Um, and I f I'm finding that it was like, so I put them in cold water instead of the ice bath, and that seems to work really good, um, especially, I'm noticing it, it does it does get a little bit more difficult as they warm or uh, cool off. So I think it's best to do this while they're warm, actually. Um, but basically, I just take them and then I um, kind of crunch them on the fat end, like where that um, air sac would be or is. And then I just kind of pinch where the air sac is to get under the membrane. And then kind of whoosh it in the water so the water kind of gets between the membrane and the egg white. Um, and then I found too it's very helpful to um, make sure your hands don't have eggshell on them when you're doing this otherwise you kind of like I just did it there you kind of stab the egg white and then the egg white peels and then the yolk gets exposed and then um, you can't pickle it because then it makes the, the water all or the brine all weird and um, murky and cloudy and weird so and then you just kind of rinse it off real good and then we put them in this pot and then we'll rinse them a couple more times um, before we actually pickle them but this is definitely going a lot better so I um, the biggest change we made from the beginning was um, we boiled for four minutes instead of three and then instead of going directly to a ice bath we put them in a cold water bath um, and then we are um, peeling them right away and that seems to be very helpful this is definitely going a lot better than before so it's been a couple weeks since we pickled eggs we've been munching on the jars uh, they've tasted really good uh, we got four pint jars like this. I think this is the last pint jar. Um, we've been eating them for the last like week and they've been amazing. We got one quart jar left, but once Kristen figured out how to cook and peel those eggs and got that process all figured out, it went really quick and we finished pick, um, packing up the jars and threw them in the fridge um, for about a week and we've been enjoying them um, ever since. So. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.